So our team for many years has been interested in Fragile X research and uh, that in general comes from an interest in how the brain develops. And Fragile X syndrome is a really important uh, disorder for us to study because it is the most common single gene cause of intellectual disabilities and autism. The research we're conducting on behalf of Fraxa uh, is looking at the fMR1 gene. And so the fMR1 gene uh, is the, the gene that produces the fMRP protein. And then the fMRP protein is actually what's uh, lacking in Fragile X syndrome. So the lack of fMRP protein is responsible for all the different uh, symptoms that individuals with uh, Fragile X syndrome have. But we're actually specifically looking at how the fMR1 gene uh, becomes translated, is how we describe it, into protein. So it's really important that we understand the different isoforms uh, or variants of the fMRP protein and how they might be developmentally regulated. So what we think is happening here with this developmental switch is that there is a change in how the fMR1 gene becomes uh, transcribed and translated into fMRP protein. And this is important because if we want to use gene therapy in the future, if we want to deliver a form of fMRP to individuals uh, diagnosed with Fragile X syndrome, we need to know which particular version we need to deliver. The main question is, is there a difference in how these two isoforms function? And when we deliver this to on an individual, in our case we're using a mouse, um, is there going to be the same improvement when we give the isoform 13 versus the isoform 17? So if everything were to go well with this experiment, uh, we would then be able to move into using these either isoform 13 or isoform 17 of fMRP, packaging that into a virus and then moving forward with attempting to give this to individuals uh, in a clinical trial. We are very, very grateful for the support of Fraxa, uh, for myself and also for our lab, their ongoing support. And it's really, really meaningful that there's an organization that has a singular focus of supporting the research that we are so interested in conducting.